What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about why I am buying Metal Hellsinger. This is my preview series where I talk about an upcoming game that's releasing. I talk about whether I am getting it somewhere in the middle or I'm not getting it. And for this game, it's pretty darn easy. Uh, this has always been a game that I've kind of circled in my mind or even on like a calendar uh, that, you know, pay attention to this game. And this game releases on September 15th, so we're really not that far away. I know some people in some of the trailers that the, the game has put out was like, man, it comes out that soon. Like, no, it kind of caught people off guard. Uh, but Metal Hellsinger releases on September 15th. It's $40. It's 40 bucks. So we're not talking about a full price game. And we'll get there, you know, as the uh, video goes on of, you know, the worth of money. One thing I always like to do in these videos is also talk about what's releasing around it before I even talk about the game itself. And it's got a pretty open field. This is still in September this relatively like in my opinion nice period you know there are some games out there but there's not the avalanche that's about to hit about the second half of October there are many games of all shapes and sizes that are releasing really within like five six weeks of each other and there are like dozens of them so that's a more packed period for this time I in my own personal belief there's not a lot going on around the time Metal Hellsinger comes out in my opinion it's got that entire week it's even got like the week after um you know you have the last of us obviously on september 2nd you go to splatoon 3 splatoon 3 is september 9th you go to the end of the month you got grounded for xbox and Kana bridges uh bridge of spirits dlc so i mean there are things but it's very very light i think overall so i really think this game kind of has the whole middle of september to itself and it's just going to sink or swim based off of the game itself so it's not trying to beat around the bush really this game it's basically a doom style thing it's a rhythm first person shooter you can tell that from some of the trailers as well that a lot of the the bullets and the the shots are matching the beat of the song uh these songs i believe i don't know if they like purchased the i think that's how they said they they did it they purchased the license to these songs so they technically own them uh, i think they were even saying that for like streamers so like if you stream this game you're not gonna get hit by like 10 copyright claims these are the songs in this game look i'm not even really into heavy metal like literally at all but the game looks just like a lot of fun and I know a lot of people are into that kind of music and I think the game obviously speaks to those people the game is trying to be doom but the game is also trying to be again more of like a rhythm thing I really feel that people will accept this game if it's just a, a kind of like a discount price doom doom eternal doom 2016 these games are phenomenal specifically doom eternal and i really think it kind of re whether or not that that genre or that kind of fan base ever went anywhere but it like brought them back to life and so i, I really don't think you have to be the most complicated or the most over-the-top kind of game if you're trying to do a Dur uh, doom eternal with your own somewhat spin on it i feel like people are going to accept your game and that's kind of the sense i've gotten with this game this game i don't think it's on anybody's radar for like game of the year i don't think this is going to change anybody's lives but this is the kind of game that you would think we'd have more of right like after doom eternal set the world on fire and i mean and not just like was it a good game but people also like played it right it's not like it was like a cult classic like people really enjoyed that game you'd think we'd have more of the kind of speed running you know just all of these different variations of weapons and enemies and now the thing with this is I still think the game needs to be like solid and that's what I, I guess for me I'm hoping the game's got more to it right more to its DNA than just being a knockoff doom now again to its credit it's not literally trying to be like doom 2.0 but just as like an indie kind of project it's not trying to be that however there are some things you'd expect and you do expect with the doom like game right when you introduce enemies when you start to put like the bosses of enemies as just casual enemies and mixing and matching them into arenas the whole i, I think there's a, a term for it and sadly i forget the term but the idea of being able to push the combat constantly right from the one location to the next location and using enemies to do it but also giving you enough of a break for ammo and for health and kind of just to catch your breath because you can't you can't do what these games are showing you literally the entire time you have to have very very small very strategic honestly breaks in it to get you from one place to the other to get you ready 
And that's what, uh, again, a game like Doom, I think it's a masterpiece for a lot of different reasons, but one of the reasons is because of that. It knows, again, when to introduce weapons and enemies. It knows how to, obviously, build different environments, and it knows how to put the kind of different enemy classes in the environment to constantly be giving you something different. It knows how to give you health as you're attacking the enemy, so you're never having to kind of retreat, stop the game, right? Pause the action because the action's supposed to be ongoing. These are the small things with Doom that make it special. So, you know, again, like you see the gameplay of this game and you're like, oh cool, like you shoot things really, really fast. It's going along to music. It literally looks like Doom Eternal, like all that stuff. That's fine and that's good. I hope there's a little bit more to it where, again, there is a strategy with craft. I mean, you can do it, you know, really well like Doom or you can kind of get a little lazy. And that's just what I'm, I, again, like if it's not that, Again, I'm not looking for this game to change my life. I'm just kind of throwing it in as that those are kind of the layers of what makes these kind of, in, in my opinion, it's the layers that makes these kind of games uh, stand out and kind of like the, the special sauce that not everybody uh, kind of identifies or notices, right? So if it doesn't have it, it doesn't have it. At the end of the day, again, it's $40. It comes out at a time that there really is no other game in my opinion. Like for me, on my calendar, I kind of keep multiple different calendars. I also have an internal one in my brain like this is it so like, when this game comes out like it's got several days if not weeks just all to itself in my mind when I go on and play games you know at night this is the game I'll be playing until I'm done with it so I'm hoping that it's good I think that the safe bet is that this will be a solid game and then there's just kind of that wiggle room of well does it try to recreate it but it doesn't really have the chops of how to put levels together and that stuff so does that lower it or is it surprisingly like just a well-crafted all-around game and it moves it up you know there's there's that and again i i don't know because again like i'm i'm not into heavy metal i know not everybody is also not everybody isn't but it's gonna be interesting to see like what the game like how does that feel to people like hearing that kind of music just blasting like indefinitely you know the entire game is that going to help it to some hurt it just like is that going to stop people from getting it um we'll have to see how that plays out as well you know doom has a killer killer soundtrack but it's not like this is definitely this is their thing this is definitely i mean it's in the name of the game um this is what kind of makes it stand out so we'll see how it's different so let me know what you guys think in the comments Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow or support me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.